Today is our second time of reading together, and reading together is our newest program. Since it is our newest program, and today is our second time of reading together, I'd like to first briefly explain the purpose of reading together. So the purpose of reading together is to read books together. But while reading books, we also want to learn to read more fluently and clearly. In the beginning, we may not be able to read fluently and clearly, but that is normal. It takes time and it takes practice, so don't worry if you can't read fluently or clearly at the start. And also, it is a time to have fun and love reading. Today, we will be reading seven books if time permits. So these are the titles of the books, and I will quickly read them out for you. The Very Quiet Cricket, Love You Forever, Art Around Us, Twinkle Twinkle F Firefly, A Day in India, A Visit to the Farm, and All About Chocolate. Now since we know the purpose of reading together and we know the books we are going to read today. Let's start reading now. The first book we are going to read is called The Very Quiet Cricket. This book is a story about a cricket who is very quiet and he couldn't make a sound. This book can teach us about crickets and in the beginning it has some facts about crickets. And it can also teach us some different types of bugs because while reading the story, you may hear some names of bugs, such as mosquitoes. So just make sure to make sure to listen carefully and look for those bug names. Now I will share the book. Okay, let me share my screen again. And can everyone see my screen? Yes? Okay, great. Before we begin, I like to talk about the author of this book. His name is Eric Carl. So here we only see one name, but in other times you may see two names on the front cover of a book. You may see written by and illustrated by. These words just mean that written by means that the words we see in this book and we read in this book are written by whom. And illustrated by means the drawings or the pictures in this book are made by whom. But sometimes we just see one, one name, like in this book, we see Eric Carl, and that is one name. This means that the pictures and the words we find in this book are all made by him. So now let's start reading. The Very Quiet Cricket. On the first page, we see a short introduction. Here there are some facts about crickets. Does anyone want to volunteer to read them for us? Okay, Matthew Young. There are 4,000 different kinds of crickets. Some live underground, others above. Some live in shrubs or trees, and some even live in water. Both male and female crickets can hear, but only the male can make a sound. By rubbing his wings together, he chirps. Some people say that it sounds like a song. Thank you for reading. I think you read very fluently and well. So here we see a lot of facts about crickets, and they are all very interesting. I don't even know that some crickets even live in water. Now moving on, let's take a look at the story. Does anyone want to read? And when you read, 
you can stop when you want to stop or when you are tired, you can just let me know and I'll choose another person. Does anyone want to volunteer to read? James? One warm day, from a tiny egg, a little cricket was born. Welcome, chirped a big cricket, rubbing his wings together. The little cricket wanted to answer, so he rubbed his wings together, but nothing happened, not a sound. Good morning, with a low cost spinning through the air. The little cricket wanted to answer, so he rubbed his wings together, but nothing happened. Not a sound. So this is just a picture of the locust. Okay. Hello, whispered the praying mantis, scarping its huge front legs together. The little cricket wanted to answer, so he rubbed his wings together, but nothing happened, not a sound. I guess the cricket is female. I think that is a very good guess. What you just made was an inference. Do you know what an inference is? An inference is what you use from what you know and what the book talks about, and you make a guess. So I think that was a very good guess. Good day, crunched a um, worm, munching its way out of an apple. The little cricket wanted to answer, so he rubbed his wings together, but nothing happened, not a sound. Hi, bought a little spittle bug, slurping in a sea of froth. The little cricket wanted to answer. So he rubbed his wings together, but nothing happened, not a sound. Good afternoon, screeched a cicada. 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 Clinging to a branch of a tree. The little cricket wanted to answer, so he rubbed his wings together, but nothing happened, not a sound. <laughs> How are you, hummed a bumblebee? Flying from flower to flower, the little cricket wanted to answer, so he rubbed his wings together, but nothing happened, not a sound. Good evening, world, a dragon spot. Gelding above the water. The little cricket wanted to answer, so he rubbed his wings together. But nothing happened, not a sound. The night buzzed the mosquitoes dancing among the stars. The little cricket wanted to answer, so he rubbed 
his rings together, but nothing happened. Not a sound. A lunar moth sailed quite quietly through the night, and the cricket enjoyed the stillness. As the lunar moth disappeared silently into a distance, the cricket did stop another cricket. She too was very a quiet cricket. Then he rubbed his wings together one more time. And this time, he chirped the most beautiful sound that she ever heard. I think this is a male one. Correct, you are correct. It is actually a male one. The author did that to try to make us surprised at the ending maybe. So that is the end of The Very Quiet Cricket. I hope everyone enjoyed it and James I think you read very well and I think sometimes you also added a little tone in your voice. What a tone is is a feeling you add to your voice because sometimes in a book there may be parts that are sad and parts that are happy and you want to make your voice sound sad and happy. Very good job, James. I think you did fantastic. Now, let me share the slides again. Next, we will be reading Love You Forever. This is a very good book and I really enjoyed it. It is about the life of a boy from when he was a small baby to when he was a grown up and when he was, was a dad. This book can teach us about the love between a parent and their child. And some, in this book, I think it is a little emotional and I really enjoyed it. I hope you all will enjoy reading this book also. Let me find it and share screen. I want to read. I want to read. Okay. Jack, did you say you want to read? Okay. Let me open up the book me a second and then you can read. All right, let me share my screen and we can start reading. Okay, so this book is called Love You Forever and it is written by Robert Munch and illustrated by Sheila McDraw. All right, Jack, you can read now. Go ahead. Uh, a mother had a new a baby. Mother had her new, baby. her new baby and very slowly, slowly, slowly rocked him, rock him, him bike by and, and forth, bike and forth, right and through, bike and forth, by and through, and where she had him. And what she and what she 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 helped help him the she sang she sang I love you so much I 
forever. I love your fall away. As long as long and 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 um living living my baby baby your baby. The baby, baby, baby grow, he grew and grew, grew and he grew, grew and and he grew and he grew, he grew until and here. Here, what about you? And what about you? And uh, he grew and uh, he until uh, he until until he was two he years. was two years old. old. And he ran out of a rock for the horse. horse the he pulled. He put all the books of the shelf. He put all the fruit all to the refrigerator. The refrigerator refrigerator and he went to and he too and he took his mother's watch and brush brush and is down the toilet sometimes he, his mother, mother would, would see the kid. This kid, this kid is driving me, me crazy. Crazy. At night, but at night time, time. Winston, Winston, two years old was was quite tired. It's a she 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 opened the door to have his room. What I cut across the floor. Looked, looked, looked up, up over, over the, the side. side. Oh, his spy. Oh, his spy. Um, and if I was, if he, if I was, was uh, really, really asleep. Sleep. She picked, she picked, picked him up and brought him, him, but him back and forth. Back and forth. forth. Back, forth. Back, and forth. Back, back and forth. Well, she, well, she rubbed. rubbed he, she, 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 I love you for, I love you for ever. I love, I like you, I like you for always. Around and at I'm leaving, I'm leaving my, my baby, baby your baby. Okay. okay. Jack, I think. You read it very well. Thank you, Jack. Um, I know I can see that you are trying your best to improve, and I see you improved a lot from last time. 
So um, I will read um, the rest of this book. Thank you for reading, Jack. You can do Okay. The little boy grew, he grew, and he grew, and he grew. He grew until he was nine years old, and he never wanted to come in for dinner. He never wanted to take a bath, and when Grandma visited, he always said bad words. Sometimes his mother wanted to sell him to the zoo. But at night time, when he was asleep, the mother quietly opened the door to his room, crawled across the floor, and looked up over the side of the bed. If he was really asleep, she picked up that nine-year-old boy and rocked him back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. And while she rocked him, she sang, I love you forever, I'll love you for always. As long as I'm living, my baby, you'll be. Okay. Um, so Matthew Huang, I said, I see your message. So I can finish this book and the next book you can read, okay? Is that okay with you? Okay, okay then. The boy grew, he grew, and he grew, and he grew. He grew until he was a teenager. He had strange friends, and he wore strange clothes, and he listened to strange music. Sometimes the mother felt like she was in a zoo. Okay, so anyone who wants to read, um, I'll let you read. Just let me know, and I'll let you read later when we read the other books. But at night time, when that teenager was asleep, the mother opened the door to his room, crawled across the floor, and looked up over the side of the bed. If he was really asleep, she picked up that great boy, big boy, and rocked him back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. While she rocked him, she sang, I'll love you forever, I'll like you for always. As long as I'm living, my baby, you'll be. That teenager grew, he grew and he grew and he grew. He grew until he was a grown up man. He left home and got a house across town. But sometimes on dark nights, the mother got into her car and drove across town. If all the lights in her son's house were out, she opened his bedroom window, crawled across the floor, and looked up over the side of his bed. If that great man, big man, was really asleep, she picked him up and rocked him back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. And while she rocked him, she sang, I'll love you forever, I'll like you for always, as long as I'm living, my baby you'll be. Well, that mother, she got older. She got older and older and older. One day, she called up her son and said, you'd better come to see me because I am very old and sick. So her son came to see her. When he came in the door, she tried to sing the song. She sang, I'll love you forever. I'll like you for always. But she couldn't finish because she was too old and sick. The son went to his mother. He picked her up and rocked her back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. And he sang this song. I'll love you forever. I'll like you for always. As long as I'm living, my mommy will be. When the son came home that night, he stood for a long time at the top of the stairs. Then he went into the room where his very new baby daughter was sleeping. He picked her up in his arms and very slowly rocked her back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. And while he rocked her, he sang, I'll love you forever, I'll like you for always. 
as long as I'm living, my baby you'll be. All right, so that is the end of this book. I hope everyone enjoyed this book, and I think, Jack, you read very well in the beginning. I see you improved a lot. Now I'll share our slides again. All right, the next book we are going to read together is called Art Around Us. This book, from the front cover, you can see that it is nonfiction, and it is. A nonfiction book means that it includes pictures that are taken using photographs, and it also includes facts, which are true statements. I think this book is very good and I enjoyed it because it talked about the different types of art because sometimes we just think that art is like painting or just drawing something but art is actually more than that okay now um I'll share the book Okay. So yeah. <clears throat> yes, Annie. Do you have a question? Mm -hmm. Do you want to read also? I can't see the book. Oh, I haven't shared it yet. I'll share it now. Okay. So, Annie, did you have a question earlier? Mm. No? No. Okay, that's fine. So, a few people have raised their hands. I see David raised their hand, his hand and Matthew raised his hand. So, I'll let, I'll let Matthew go first. Matthew, um, Matthew Huang. Ma Matthew Huang, you can go first and you can read about half of the book and then David you can read. Is that fine with all, both of you? Okay. Let's begin now. Art Around Us. Before you all start reading, I want to talk about the table of contents we see in this book. The table of contents is um, a list of sections you can find in this book. Usually you can see a table of contents in nonfiction books mostly. The table of contents can separate out the different sections and topics in this book so that it can be easier when you read. Okay. So, um, Matthew Huang, you can start reading. Introduction. Art is all around us. Art, art is in every shape, size, and color. Artists can make art from anything. Some artists make art with paint or paper. Others use glass or clay. Some use a computer. Others make art out of plants or sa sand. Painters. Some artists are painters. Most most painters use a brush. Others like to use to. Others like to use splash or spray paint. Paint. Some like to drip paint instead. It's not painting. May painters paint on many surfaces. Most paint on cabanas. Some paint on dishes or furniture. Have you ever seen a painted mur mural? It a mural is big. It's painting right on the wall. The sculpt the sculptor. The sculptors carve shapes with sharp tools. They 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 might carve. Carve wood, stones, or ice. Other artists use 
make soft sculptures. Other soft sculptures are are shapes made of fabric and yarn. All right. So I see that more people have raised their hands or want to go. So um, Matthew, if you could stop here, um, I can let other people read, and you can read later. Thank you. Okay. So, um, actually, you can finish the sculptor part if you want to. Some sculptors shape metal. They pour hot metal into a mold and let it cool. When they take the sculptor out, it's shaped like the mold. Okay, thank you for reading. You read it very fluently and well. I think this book has some hard words, and I think you sounded them out and read them out very well. Next, let's have David read. David, would you like to read? Yes. Okay, you can start from the pottery section. Some club porters shape metal. They pour hot metal into a mold and let it cool when they take the sculpture out. It's shaped like the mold. Potter, potters make art with clay that use their hands to shape the clay. Potters push on the clay. They pinch it. They pull it. They make it into the shape they want. The clay shape is baked in a very hot oven. The heat bakes the clay until it's dry. Baked clay is called calamine. Keramic potters use a bristle ceramic print paint called a glaze. The glaze makes the ceramic shiny. Glass glass flower melted glass is soft like very thick glue. A glass book. But blood work scoops up a drop of hot, soft glass with the end of a long metal pipe. The pipe is hollow, like a straw. The artist blows air through the pipe into the blob of glass. The air makes a bubble in the glass. Then the Glass flower can shape the bubble. He or he or she can make it wide, like a bowl, or make it flat, like a plate. Okay, so David, I think you can stop there. Let's have someone else read. But overall, I think you read very good. I think you read fluently and clearly. And you also read the headings or titles that titles on the on the book, and that is a very important thing to do. So I think you did great on that. Next, have, let's have Matthew Young read. You can read from this page, the beginning. Glass blowers work very quickly. While the glass is soft, they can change it. They can add dots or color. They can add a handle, but they have to be careful. When the glass cools, it gets hard, and it can break easily. Pyro artist. Art can be made with thread, yarn, and pieces of fabric. It's called fiber art. Some fiber artists do. Some make a quilt for a bed. Weavers are also fiber artists. Weavers loop yarns together to make art. They use a machine called a loom. 
The loom helps them put their yarns in the right place. Like weavers can make beautiful rugs or blankets. They can weave a soft sculpture to hang on a wall. Unusual art. Some art just looks different to us. It isn't a painting. It isn't a glass bowl. It's hard to say what it is. Artists make it from things they found. Maybe they use pieces of wood and old junk. They might use parts of old toys too. Some artists make big, big sculptures with sand. They get to work the beat all day. All right, so Matthew, thank you for reading. You can stop right there. I think you read very well, and I enjoyed listening to how fluently you read. Thank you for reading. Now, so does anyone else want to read? Um, okay, Jerry, would you like to read? You can go ahead and read from this page. Okay, many artists like to work outside. They make art in a park or a garden. They use tree. They use tree branches, branches, branches rocks, and planets to make a a. The song. People can come to the park to see it. An art installation. In, installation is big. It can be a a hall a hall room that is a work of art. Sometimes you can walk around it. Inside it, the artist uh, feel, uh, feel uh, the room with things to look at, touch, and uh, hear. The room might have flashing lights or big video screen. You might hear music or strange sounds. You might smell flowers or popcorn. You can continue reading if you like. Um, my pole drawings are the oldest art in the world. Some very old drawings are on the walls of cave, caves. Other old drawings wear a scar into rocks. The drawings tell story about something, something that had happened long ago. Art is also found in the rings, rings of of very old kid. Uh, kid. Scientists some sometimes found old pot pottery designs. Some rings have old. Uh, murals. Murals are uh, painted on the walls. Art is art is and everywhere. Example: your town to find types of art. Visit an art museum. You will see many types of painting. And uh, sculpture. Sculpture. Go to an art 
gallery, gallery. of gallery or an art fair. Artists want want you see to and enjoy what they make. Okay. Would you like to continue reading? Uh, yes. Okay, you can continue, I guess. Look for look for art around you. You can look for art when you are are right are riding in a car. You might see a a sculpture sculpture in a park. You might see a big a big marble on a wall. You can make your own art. Draw on on a sidewalk with chalk. Make a sculpture sculpture with clay, snow or sand glue pieces of sea shells, glasses, and wood on a picture frame. It's all, it's all art. Okay, so this last part I can read. Okay. Um, by the way, Jerry, I think you read very clearly, and I like how you are reading very loud and clear, and that's a good habit to have. And also, some words here are hard, but I think you are trying your best, and I think you read very well. Good job. Okay, so I'll read this last part. You can tell a story with art. It can help you say how you feel. Art can be interesting or funny. It can be something that you just like to look at. Look for art. You'll find it all around you. Before um, we move on to our next book, I like to let everyone take a look at the glossary. The glossary is a list of words that most people may not know. So here there are seven words here in this glossary. On the left side, it states the word, and on the right side, it has the definition of the word. So when you are reading a book, uh, especially a nonfiction book, you may find a glossary at the end. So you can use that to help you understand the book better. All right, so that's it of this book. Let me share my, our slides again. There you go. All right, I think everyone read this book really well. Now the next book is a very interesting and fun book to read. It is called Twinkle Twinkle Firefly. This book is different from other books because instead of telling a story, it has multiple poems inside. So in this one book, you can find a lot of poems. Sometimes people call these types of books, books, a book of poems. So inside this book, there are lots of poems. And I'm very excited to read this book with all of you. Let me open the book. Okay, this is the book Twinkle Twinkle Firefly. The poems are written by John Agard and Grace Nicholas, meaning that some poems are written by John Agard and other poems are written sure. by Grace Nicholas. And the illustrations in this book are drawn by well, Kit Amura. 
Okay. Um, Jack, did you say something? Do you want to read? Um, so you don't want to? Ah, okay. If you need to leave, I guess you can leave. Well, do you want to read? Did you want to read? Okay. Um, okay then. Well then, I'll choose someone else. So each person I can. I want. I want. Okay, James, I know you want to just everyone wait. There are a lot of people who are raising their hands. So by the way, each, each person will read three poems since there's a lot of people raising their hands. Okay, so first there is um, a little table of contents that lists the poems in this book. All right, now, James, since you said you want to read, you can first read and then after reading three poems, you can stop and I'll choose another person to read. You can start now. Twinkle, twinkle, the firefly. Twinkle, twinkle, firefly. In the dark, it's sure. Oh, I spy over the river, over the bush. Twinkle, twinkle, the firefly. For the traveler passing by. Over the river, over the bush. Twinkle, twinkle, firefly. In the dark. Your parting eye. Grasshopper one. Grasshopper two. Grasshopper one. Grasshopper two. Grasshopper hopping in the morning dew. Grasshopper three. Grasshopper. Four grasshoppers stopping by the leafy door. Grasshopper five. Grasshopper six. Grasshopper lying in like a green match stick. Grasshopper seven. Grasshopper eight. Grasshopper suddenly. Standing up straight. Grasshopper nine. Grasshopper ten. Grasshopper. Where you be my secret friend? Grace Nichols. Wow, what is a child? Do you know? Okay. Do you know? So, um, you can read. Do you know? I. What did do you, you know I can read? Do you know I can read Chinese? That's great. I also can read Chinese. So, okay. Next, um, let's see. So I'm, um, Jack, do you want to read three poems? Um, Jack, would you like to read? Um, okay. Okay. Okay, then. Can, can mom help me? Can I, mom, can, uh, can, can my, my mom help me? Of course, your mom can help you. Thank you. Okay, so you can read. Okay, what is, what is she, she, you yeah. lost oh. your book? What she your lost your your tail your tail your tail what is she what she you humans humans lost your tail lost your tail side monkey side monkey side monkey your cool 
You could have been doing this, been doing like me, me and Pietro, and swing, swing the from tree tree to tree tree. What are she? Are she? You have you have humans. humans. Lost, Lost your tail. tail. Side dog. No, no, never. No, side spent a dry drop. When from the front can you come? You come, come you got nice to white. white. What is she? What is she? Your hand is him. Lost your tune. Your tune. Tune. Side later. If I. If I. Break my. Break my. No. But, but I can. Always. Grew, grew another. another. What is she? What is she? Your human. Human. Lost you. Lost to your, your tail. tail. Side people. Side people. Moving through. Weaver, mm. move, moving through. What, what her is easy, easy to handle. To handle. When you are born, we are boy with, with a riding, riding made paddle. We know. We know. We, we lost, lost our year of tail. Shy. The humans. But but have we have one. we have a fortune fortune a a real cool cool what you will what will well it's good for sleeping um it's good, good to for for sleeping um to improve to improve our our thinking to improve our, our thinking, thinking skill. skill. Yes. Yes. We lost our we tail. Lost, to lost our tail. tail. Side, side. The human once again. Was again. Again. But we have a but brain. We have a brain. 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 And we make, and we make things then. then Help, help and, and uh, being things then then kill kill join a god join a god okay so you can continue reading these two poems if you want to is it you is it you is it you right okay um i guess that's a no it's fine all right next let's see annie would you like to try and read yeah um card in the dark look at that look at that but when you look there's no cat without a power just a flash of far and gone like a go like a go like a ghost ghost the most you see are two toy green traffic lights starts as the night turn a, a, a guard you want to read another one uh, yes Okay, you can go ahead and read. 
don't cry. Uh, caterpillar. Caterpillar. Don't cry, caterpillar. Caterpillar, don't cry. You will be a butterfly by and by. Caterpillar, please don't worry about a things. But said caterpillar, will I know myself in wings? Grew, grows Nicholas. All right. Do you want to read a third one? Uh, yeah. Okay, you can go ahead and read. And by the way, um, Jack, I think you read great. Um, I think you read very fluently, by the way. Okay. And you can continue. Oh, me and uh, Mr. Uh, Plut. Uh, Plut. Again and again, we meet in the line. We meet in the sunshine. We meet in the rain. We meet in the windy. We meet in the high. We meet in the misty. And the autumn leaf real on harsh days and drunk days, on days mild and clear. And if it was rainy, he'd say, nice water of ducks. And if it's sunny, he'd say, good, uh, good ease of beach of beach war and if it was windy he'd say we want to we can't do without that wind and if it's nappy he'd say nappy days and if it was cold windy rainy gray which it which it Mm, Narzi always was, he'd say, Harbury Day, or not as good as it was yesterday. And, oh, and, he, and he'd hurry always with a roof top of his head. He do, he Rude dog, including him, is way and that. You can see me. Can you see me? Um, I didn't say it. Okay. Sorry about that. Um, Annie, thank you for reading. I think you read very fluently. Um, I like how you read it very fluently and clearly. And some words, um, they were kind of hard, but you spelled them out and you spelled them correctly. Okay, thank you for reading. So next, let's see. All right, let's see. Does anyone want to read? Okay, how about, let's see. Okay, then Matthew Huang, would you like to read? Water forest, water for case. It will be rainy cats, not cats and dogs. This cat, a dancing, twisting, spinning, whirling, downpouring, a current, a furring, outpouring from the great cushions of heaven. It is a visible, a visible, a visible to stay indoors, or if you don't, or if you do go out in choose big brawl. I'll short and short. It will be rainy cats for sure. This cat's, this is the cat's water report. This is the, it is a dog day off. Um, okay, so by the way, um, 
since there are a lot of people raising their hands, I guess, um, each one of us will just, each one of you will just read one poem. This way, everyone who wants to read can read. All right, next, Matthew Young. Where does laughter begin? Does it start in your head and spread to your toe? Does it start in your cheeks and grow downwards so to your knees feel weak? Does it start with a tickle in your tummy so to you want to jump right out of all your skin? Does laughter be simply begin with your now? All right, thank you, Matthew, for reading. Um, Jack, did you say you want to read? Okay, you can read the next one. Don't eat too much sweet, sweet. You will spell your loving to you ever. For your, for your, your lovely, lovely teeth. Don't touch, don't touch, jolly, jolly, or treacle. Take to, to eat, eating people, eating people. Join a god, join a god. Okay, thank you Jack, for reading. You read fluently this time, and you also read the author of this poem. Great job. Okay, next, let's see. Um, Annie, would you like to read? Uh, yes. Okay, you can go ahead, just read one poem. Thank you. Granny, Granny, please cut my hair. Granny, Granny, please cut my hair. You always take your time. You always take such care. You put me on a cousins between you kings. You rub a little um coconut coconut, uh, coconut? coconut oil. Parting gentle as a bruise. Mommy, 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 he, she always in a hurry, hurry, rush. He pulls my hair. Sometimes she hugs, but Garni, you have all the time in the world. And when you are free, finished, you always twang my head and say, now who is the next girl? Grace. Nicholas. Nicholas. Great job, fantastic Annie. Great job, thank you for reading. Um, next, let me see. Um, Jerry, do you want to read? Jerry, would you like to read? Yeah, I want to read. Okay, you can go ahead and read. Okay. Okay. Okay, you can begin now. Yeah. Wait. Um, you can read sugar cake bubble. Wait. Sugar cake. Sugar cake bubble. Sugar cake, sugar cake, building in a pot. Bubble, bubble, sugar cake, bubble, thick. being thick and hot. Sugar cake, sugar cake, spice and coconut, sweet and sticky, brown and gooey. And gooey. I can, I could eat. A lot. Okay, thank you for reading, Jerry. You read very fluently this time and very clear. Thank you. All right, um, let's see who else. All right, and, um, James, 
Would you like to read this one? Would you like to read the little, the fish? little fish? has something to say to the fishman. Throw down your hook, you silly man. Throw down your hook. I can read you like a book. Guess you've heard of a school fish. Well, I was the brightest in my class, and my teacher always said, wherever you see a hook, just pass, throw down your hook, you silly man, throw down your hook. You won't catch a thing in this, this river. We are, we are far too clever. At least you won't catch me. I wanna go to university for fish, man. No, not in up in your frying pan, John Arca. Thank you for reading you know? this and also for reading this stuff. I know math too. Oh, you also know math. That's great. Okay, let's see if there's another one. All right, there's um, two more poems. So, David, would you like to read a poem? Um, David, um, you have to unmute yourself for us to hear you. Secret, tell me your secret. I promise not too well. I'll grind it safely at the bottom of a well. Tell me your secret. Tell me, tell me, please. I won't read the word. Not even to the beast. Tell me your secret. It will be a people in my mouth. Not even the not not even the sea can make me split it out. Give yourself a hug. Give yourself a hug when you see feel alone. Give yourself a hug when people put on airs to make you feel a bug. Give yourself a hug when everyone seems to give you a cold shoulder shrug. shrug. Give, yourself, give yourself a hug, a big, big hug, and keep on singing. Only one in a million like me. Only one in a million, billion, trillion, zillion like me. All right, thank you for reading, David. Um, so that's the end of this book. All right. So since time, um, because of time, that is the last book we are reading. Um, I hope you all enjoyed reading this book. This book is very fun to read. The poems are funny and humorous. So let's skip this. Okay, so thank you for attending. I noticed everyone has improved a lot on reading fluently and clearly. And I see that a lot of you have been adding a tone or a feeling to your voice and also you all are reading some harder words correct so that is great and that is great improvement and i hope you all attend next time and thank you for attending today before you all leave 
Does anyone have any questions or comments? 